This has already been a tough ride. You can't just walk in off the street and into the cockpit of a U-2. Are you currently feeling threatened or afraid? I've had three days intensive training on emergency ejection. Unless you are screaming for dear mother and God all the way down, you should have plenty of air. I will be. On survival at the edge of space. Three, two, one. And on my lifeline, my space suit. Because although space officially starts 62 miles up, even at 13 miles will be in atmospheres so thin it would have exactly the same effect on my body as space itself. Out there, with less than 5% normal air pressure, one tear in the fabric of my suit would mean curtains. One thing suddenly very clear to me, the know-how that put men on the moon and kept them alive in their suits was founded on the experience of high-altitude pioneers like the U-2 pilots. Now, my flight leaves in one hour. Normally, in the last hour before departure, of course, you go and buy a magazine and have a double mock chocolate topper from a coffee place. But this time, I'm going to sit here and breathe pure oxygen in a sealed suit because that will purge my blood of nitrogen. Nitrogen at altitude could give you the bends. So what I'm sort of doing here is saving my life, in a way, if anything goes wrong. And this is exactly what the Apollo astronauts did for an hour before blast off, sit in a chair, read a magazine, breathe O2. It's very good for you. It's making me feel a bit high, actually. Is that normal? Copy, 3022, pigeon 93, taxiing to runway 33 VR, Delta. 